Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie and let's get started. We're gonna start off with making some embellishments. And here I'm taking these tiny little bees from Amazon and I'm just going to take my paint markers and I'm going to give them a little makeover, make them look more patriotic with the blue and red paint marker. And yes, red wine blue bees are a thing. Yes, they are. Look how adorable. Just as simple as that, paint marker for precision. Look how cute. And also I'm gonna take these bamboo rings. I had a collection of quite a few sizes, some from Dollar Tree, some from Amazon. And I'm just going to stack them up together to create some small beehives. And I'm just going to adhere them with some wood glue and we'll come back to that in a minute. For DIY number one, I'm going to begin with one of these house decor pieces from the Dollar Tree from Crafter Square. And I'm going to go in with these three colors, the blue, white, and the red, and paint them in this form. And here I'm taking this scrap piece of wood that I had in my yard that's weathered perfectly, but the Dollar Tree does carry sizes of wood similar to this size. So you can always get something like this there. But since I already had this in my yard, why spend the money and buy a piece of wood? So now here I am taking a piece of burlap and I'm going to trim off these ends and fray all the ends. I like that effect. I think it's super cute. And once I get that the way I want it, then I'll go ahead and take my Fabri-Tec fabric glue and I'm going to adhere this piece onto my piece of wood. And it's as simple as that. I love this adhesive. It's becoming one of my favorites. And I'm going to press it down with my silicone spatula because I don't want the glue coming through the fibers and getting all over my hands. So now I'm going to figure out where I want the home pieces of wood. And I think it was look, looking cute like this, but I wanted to do a little something a little extra. So I am taking some of this Dollar Tree patriotic ribbon, this wide ribbon, and it doesn't have any wire, so it's easy to cut. So I'm just going to try to figure out where I want it to be a background for these letters because the letters are hollow on the inside. So I'm going to snip off just enough to cover the back and then I'll adhere them with some of the fabric tech fabric glue like this. And I do this to all four of the letters and now I'm pretty happy with it. I think that this is looking super cute. And now all I have to do is place them down and make sure that they're nice and centered. And I go ahead and take the same Fabri-Tec adhesive and I just adhere these onto my base like this. Now here is, I take another piece of wood from my yard and I'm taking another piece of burlap and I'm doing the same thing, fraying the ends. And I do save the ends that I cut off. You'll see that in a little bit. So I'm just fraying these ends to my liking. This, this particular ribbon is a little thinner than the first one. Now I'm going to take some more of the fabric tech glue and do the same thing. Add it to the whole back side of it. That way it'll adhere well. And flip it over and press it down. Now for this one here, I used my Cricut and I created a cut file that says of the free because of the brave, but because is going to be a little cheeky, a little fun, it, because it'll be because, like a bee. Because yeah, we're gonna use some patriotic bees in this DIY video, because why not? And of course, you can always use stickers if you don't have a Cricut. It's not difficult to achieve this look. So here I'm just pressing down my words on here, and I'm just going to very carefully remove the transfer tape. Now these vinyl pieces are a little bit difficult to remove from the transfer tape onto the burlap because the burlap has so many little tiny fibers. So I'm just taking my time remo removing the transfer tape. And once I get it off, then I'm home free. All I gotta do now is just put a little of the Mod Podge and this one I got from the Dollar Tree. They, they carry these, these small bottles now. And I'm just going to spread it real gently with my Freeman makeup brush that I love to use for Mod Podging. Or should I say decoupaging <laughs> with Mod Podge. And just like that, this will stay. Now I'm taking a longer piece of wood from my yard again. And I'm going to take some of this super glue wood glue, add a nice long bead of glue, place it on the top of this piece of wood that's slightly larger than the first one or the second one. 
and that'll be my stand. And now I'm gonna take my home sign that I created, add another long bead of glue, and I'm going to place this one on top of the second piece of wood. So now it'll read, home of the free because of the brave. Super cute. So now we have to add some bees. These little bees I got from Amazon and I painted them with some paint markers. And then here is my little beehive that I made with those bamboo rings. And I'm just going to use some of the Waverly Antique Wax to give it a little bit of interest, a little bit of distress. And I'm going to take a little bit of water in my spray bottle and I'm going to rub that in with a baby wipe just to get into all the nooks and crannies. Now it's ready to be adhered and I'm taking some of the hot glue and I'm placing it on the right side. It's hard to see but yes it's right there on the right side. And I'm going to add a B over here on the right as well and I add another B to the left. I don't show it but I do add some hot glue for honey and then a couple of my tiny little bees that I created in my embellishments. Now here is a piece of that burlap that I trimmed off on the edge and I'm going to use that to create a little bow and place this on the top in the center of this whole cute sign and this thing became huge. Let me tell you, <laughs> you can hardly see the whole thing in my camera. And here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal. This video we're doing patriotic DIYs and it's a collaboration with my sweet friend Kathy Jo from Kathy Jo DIYs and here are a few of her fantastic projects. She is very talented and she is a hoot. Her video will be linked in my description box and pinned in my comments. For DIY number two, I'm taking one of these long signs. They're wall signs from the Dollar Tree and they're perfectly distressed. Look how cute they are. And I'm also taking these star ornaments. They are so adorable. And they have the beaded garland attached to them. Perfect. And this is so simple. All I'm going to do is take red, white, and blue stars. And I'm going to take the first one, place it in the back, and adhere it with a nice glob of glue. Place it down and anchor it on there until it's nice and secure. And once it's nice and secure, I'm going to flip it back over and I'm going to secure the top part of it so it doesn't go flying around. Place that down as well. Then I'm going to turn over the star and I'm going to place the top of the next star that's got the beaded garland and I'm going to place it underneath or the back of the next star. Now here I'm using hot glue for video purposes only. I ran out of the E6000. So if you're going to do this, please, please use the E6000 because using hot glue with metal is not going to last long. <laughs> not at all. So for video purposes, I'm using this at this moment. But again, use E6000 for a permanent, a more permanent hold. And once I place that on there, then I'll just remove the excess jute twine and then add more glue. And I'm just going to do this till all three stars are just hanging down. And I was so happy that they fit perfectly on this board. Oh my goodness, look at that. Now for the top, I'm going to add a nice big fluffy bow that I created with that same ribbon. And I'm just going to add a nice dab of glue and place it on the top of the sign and fluff up the bow. And that is it. And here is how it looks. And a closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number three, I am taking one of these Dollar Tree mini palettes so adorable this is a perfect little tear tray project and i'm going in with those same red white and blue colors and i'm going to paint them up in this manner and then i'm going to take these tiny little star stickers that i had on hand i'm sure you can find these anywhere or you can cut them out on a cricut if you have a cricut but i'm sure all the stores have these little stickers as well for school and whatever i just placed three on there because that's all i could fit if i had smaller ones i'd probably fit better but and then some Mod Podge, and here's how it looks, and the closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number four, I'm gonna take this wood round from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to remove this hanger. We'll use it later, but in a different way. And now I'm gonna go in with my Waverly chalk paint in the color Snow White to give it a full coat. And then I'm gonna take some Dollar Tree vinyl. Yes, this is Dollar Tree vinyl. And with my Cricut, I cut out this pattern because I am horrible at making stripes. Yes, I admit it. I'm not even gonna try it because they'll just look so wonky. And I accept my weaknesses and I seek help 
with machinery if I need to. <laughs> I've got no problem with that. Now the problem with this Dollar Tree vinyl is that it doesn't want to stick very well. So here I am taking my time removing the vinyl, or should I say removing the transfer tape from the vinyl. But other than that, once I got it removed, it stuck pretty, pretty well. And the trick and the tip to using a Cricut and this vinyl is to scroll down on your material list on your Cricut, go all the way to the very bottom, and you'll see a setting that says just vinyl. And that's the one you need for Dollar Tree vinyl, just plain vinyl. So now here I am taking a blue piece. Again, this is Dollar Tree vinyl as well. See how shiny it is? But we'll take care of that with some Mod Podge later and kind of kind of dull that up a little bit. <laughs> kind of settle that shine a little bit. So now I'm going to take more of those little stickers and I'm just going to place these all over the blue section. It won't be 50, but it'll be quite a few. And place that aside. Now here with my Cricut, I also cut out this board that says beekeeper. Now here I am making a big mistake. I am using a huge piece of transfer tape. And let me tell you what happens and you'll see it. I'll place this down on here and as I'm moving the transfer tape, guess what? The Dollar Tree vinyl starts coming up just a little bit, but it starts coming up enough that it's, it's a little bit annoying. So I need to just in the future when I use Dollar Tree vinyl, just be careful with that part. <laughs> I learned my lesson here, but still it's super cute. Look at that beekeeper, yes. So now I'm gonna take some Waverly antique wax and I'm going to antique this whole piece, kind of kind of dirty it up a little bit. It's looking a little too, too clean, too new. And we wanna just dull it up just a little bit, just a tiny little bit. And if you don't like to distress anything, you can always skip this part. I thought this was cute to just give it a little bit of dimension and once I let this dry completely then I go ahead and use a Mod Podge give it a full coat and this helps to dull up the, all that shine and now I'm noticing that my whole piece is off centered from the circle from the wood round so I'm going to remedy that with some rope and look at that nice and centered now <laughs> that's the trick and now I'm going to remove all the fuzzies with my lighter because you guys know I can't be encouraged guys <laughs> it's my thing <laughs> love to use the lighter and jute twine and rope until I get it all nice and pretty and now I'm just gonna add a nice big bow this is just regular burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree place that in the center and I'm gonna add one of my cute little patriotic bees that I painted with my paint markers just place that in the very center and look how adorable and this is how it looks and the closer look at the final reveal for DIY number five, I'm taking one of these brand new burlap framed stretch canvases and I'm going to use my Cricut again. And here is another piece of Dollar Tree vinyl that I cut to create a stencil kind of form. And it's supposed to be a flag in a flower shape. And I'm just gonna go in with this red and I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. I'm not going to be careful. I don't mind that it's going to run everywhere because this is going to be a little bit abstract and you'll see what I mean as we get towards the end of it. So I'm just painting it whichever way, just making sure to get all those bare spots filled like this. And now I'm going to remove the vinyl and I'm going to use my heat gun to dry it all up because now I'm going to place the other section and it's this other part of the flower and again this is Dollar Tree vinyl so it's not going to be the best quality but it does the job just fine for this look how adorable so I'm going to take some blue and I'm going to fill this in the same way until it's all filled like this and I'm going to remove the vinyl and dry it all up now once it's dry I'm going to take some more of the vinyl lettering and I'm just going to put on here America place it on the very top and again since this is vinyl on burlap I have to take my time to remove the transfer tape but once I get it off it looks beautiful so here I'm just taking my time until I get it to look perfect now for the bottom I'm going to take another piece and this one's going to say the 
and once I placed the on there I decided it was a little bit too high and thankfully it was just three large letters so I was able to bring them down just a little bit to where I wanted them like this press them down and now beautiful as in a bee and you'll see where the bee comes in it's gonna be so cute so now here is beautiful place this down and again I have to be careful and take my time because this font is a thin font so this one's especially finicky but with patience and determination anything's possible <laughs> so yeah and I did speed this up quite a bit because let me tell you it took a little while but just kind of pressing it down and then of course I add the Mod Podge to seal it all up that way make sure nothing comes off look how cute okay so now here I'm covering up all my vinyl lettering because I don't want any of my vinyl coming up when I add my last piece of vinyl on here so I'm just using some parchment paper and some painters tape and I'm covering all my lettering just in case because believe me this stuff is hard to keep on there <laughs> before I add my Mod Podge because I'm not ready for my Mod Podge yet I'll do that in a minute when I get everything done so here I'm just covering it all up just in case and now here is my large flower with the B and I'm going to remove the backing here and by the way this black vinyl is my favorite here it is Okay, now I'm ready to add this onto my abstract flower flag, flag flower, <laughs> flower flag, I don't know. So I'm just trying to figure out the position I want it, press it down, and again, I'm going to remove this transfer tape, and I just take my time, and I didn't show it all because, oh my goodness, it took me forever to get this off. And, and then come to find out, I didn't really need to tape everything up. But I did it just in case. But here it is. Look how cute. And here I'm just adding my Mod Podge. And here's how it looks. And a closer look at the final reveal. Now this is a special project. This is actually a cardboard project that I was supposed to have completed about a month ago in a challenge. But I didn't get it done. I had a death in the family. So it didn't work out. But I'm going to finish it now. And my challenge was to create this tall birdhouse that the rusted willow had challenged me to create and all our challenge items are to be created with cardboard so here I go <laughs> and this particular birdhouse has a three parts to it it has a short kind of wide birdhouse and then a tall birdhouse and then a small birdhouse so right now I'm working on the short one and I'm just cutting pieces that I need and I'm going to go in with these three colors of chalk paint and paint them like this and then I'm going to go ahead and take some of this truffle and I'm going to do a little bit of distressing on it just to dirty it up just a tiny little bit. I only end up distressing this one particular house form. The other two I did not. And I was fine with it. Now, if you want to make something like this, of course, you can distress or you can skip it all together. And I'm just going to go ahead and adhere all these pieces together to create this house form. And I'm just going to use some hot glue for this. It works great on cardboard. And so I'm just taking these and placing them together in this manner, getting all the walls on, just taking my time. And make sure to use good cardboard. Don't use anything flimsy. Amazon boxes are the best. Let me tell you, they are the best. So here I'm just using some glue. So now I'm going to take some longer pieces. And now I'm going to create the tall skinny house. That will basically go in front of the short house. It's a really cute adorable design. It really is. And I'm just taking my time to create my angles for the roof line. I'm cutting everything off with a nice sharp blade utility knife and once I get all these pieces cut then I go ahead and do the same thing paint them in this manner and now I'm going to add these onto my short house so I'll begin with one of these tall pieces and I'll add some glue well first I'll make sure it's going to fit right add some glue to the bottom to the sides and the inside and place it in the front now I'm not sure if this is the right way to make this thing. This is my 
interpretation of it <laughs> and obviously i'm making it patriotic it's not the rustic one that's pictured it's this is going to be a patriotic one so now here are the walls to the tall house i'm trying to make sure i say it properly here <laughs> so here's one wall gotta hold it down allow the glue to set and let me tell you this thing becomes tall so the angle is going to be a little blurred in some of the areas but it's just the process so here i'm adding the second or the second wall third wall and then for the last wall then i'll add the other blue piece i'll lay this down that way i can have an easy access to it and i'll add some hot glue and everything will get secure once i add this fourth wall so I'll place it in there and press it down and then that secures the tall skinny house it almost looks like a church like a chapel but it, I think it's different yeah so now here it is for the most part now I'm going to take some more pieces and now I'm going to create the roofs for this so here I'm painting everything in the white and then I'm going to go ahead and add some Mod Podge and allow this to dry because we're going to do a little bit of decoupaging and I like to do this particular way. So now here are some napkins that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. They are super cute with all these stars, very patriotic and Americana. And I'm taking two pieces of painter's tape to remove one of the layers. It's only two layers, two plies. Now I'm ready to adhere this. So I'm going to place my one layer of napkin paper on my cardboard piece. And I'm going to use my mini easy press and some parchment paper, of course, to protect it. And I'm just going to press this down and it'll adhere perfectly. All the Mod Podge will activate and adhere the napkin paper onto my painted cardboard. Now I'm just using a wet brush to rip off the, the rest of the napkin paper. And I just go ahead and do this to all my pieces. I'll do one more for you guys to see. But I ended up doing six roof pieces. One or two for each of the little houses, I think. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> you guys will see. So here's the second one. So once I get them all done, then I go ahead and take my finger sander and remove all the excess napkin paper with my finger sander like this. Now I'm ready to add my roofs. So here they are, all six of them. And I'll start off with the large one. This will go on the large house, the bottom house. And I'll just add some glue to the sides and place it on the house like this. And I do this to both sides. And now I'm gonna add my smaller piece that goes on the top, on the back, and do this to both sides as well like this and then all is left is for the very top and I go ahead and lay this down again so you guys can see and I'll place this in this manner and again the same thing just add some hot glue and place it on there to pitch it now I do end up uh, leaving a little gap on the very top and you'll see why later why I left that gap but here I'm just adding some more glue and adding some more cardboard oh my goodness <laughs> this was a process I gotta tell you and then finally the last little house and this will go on the front and so I'm just going to place three of these pieces to create the little house and just adding the glue making a little kind of like a little room like a little tiny house and then adding the glue to the sides and placing it in front of the house so yes it's quite a cute design I, I think it's adorable I love this design it's super cute I would love to make this in wood I think it would be so so cute so I just press it on there until it adheres and sets and now I'm just going to take two pieces two more pieces for the roof on here and I'm just going to adhere them together at the pitch at the very top and I'm going to adhere it to the sides like this. Allow that glue to set. 
And here's a quick look at how it all looks all the way around. I'll turn it around real quick. Here's how it's looking, super cute. And now I'm going to use some of this Baker's Twine from the Dollar Tree to finish off all the cardboard edges, like this. Now I'm going to use some of these pieces to do some embellishing. I don't show it all because this took me a while. But look, Tammy from the Rusted Willow, it's done. Here's how it looks. And a closer look at the final reveal. If you're on Instagram, here is my QR code. I invite you to follow me on there. And here's my QR code for TikTok. And here is my handle for Pinterest. I do have a crafting group on Facebook. I invite you to join us on there. And now we're at the final reveal. Let me know what you guys think. And which one's your favorite one? moment and thank Kathy Jo from Kathy Jo DIYs for collaborating with me creating Americana and patriotic DIYs. I had a lot of fun creating for this and I hope you guys definitely check out her DIY video today and give her a subscribe. She's super sweet and hilarious. You guys will just love her. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up. I would really really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and if you want to see more definitely subscribe lots more fun is coming up and until my next video stay healthy safe and strong and have a great great day bye bye